in what way are the body and mind connected to the soul? It's uh, clear to me that when we have a physical issue, it has to do with our soul as well. It's not our soul is our body is not just sort of divorced from the soul. Body and mind are are tools, I think, for the soul to have a life in, to experience a human life in. But I want to know how, in what way, are they related? In what way are they um, entwined? So I'm reaching out to Jesus. Uh, please speak through me. Um, the soul has and always will be an integral part of the physical system that includes the mental part of the physical system. Uh, when the soul is denied, it cannot be otherwise than certain pathways and I'm getting the word antigens <laughs> um, will become depleted or inflamed. Um, this is the soul's way of speaking to the body and mind. This is the soul's way of communicating the changes that need to happen. Um, this is the way of this. This is the soul's way of getting the attention of the body and mind. Um, the body is not meant as um, an assault against you. It is a mode of communication. So, how? What can we do to um, understand the communications better? I'm going to turn around because there's a lot of sun, right? What can we do to understand the communication? Because a lot of time we have a physical illness and we do everything possible and still it continues. So what can we do to clearly understand the message the soul is trying to convey through a physical condition? Awareness, honest awareness. Oftentimes we get uh, stuck in habits we get to a place where we feel comfortable um, and it may not always feel comfortable to make mental changes in our thought process, changes in the way we think, even toward ourselves. Uh, you may blame yourself for things and that feels normal. Um, that has to stop because that is damaging, I guess, to the soul. Um, what other modes of thought are, are harmful? Jesus. Blame, excessive anger, inauthenticity, uh, neglect of oneself, um, distrust of one's own self. All of these things are can manifest in the body as disease. Um, how? So what can we do? How can we do to change this? How can we you know, if we're having a physical issue that it has us completely stumped, what can we do to learn to trust ourselves and listen to our soul and become aware of where we need to change? Become one with the ever guiding voice in the head. When you are still, you will know which way to go, which path to take. I'm, I'm getting like endless chatter. When you have the endless chatter of the external world going on in the mind, that will keep you from hearing your own soul. When you are still and uh, basically honest with yourself, truthful with yourself, um, you will then be able to hear the messages of the soul and often it's a matter of going easier on yourself, forgiving yourself, not blaming yourself. These are often the issues I think that cause us to have physical ailments. Okay, that was today's message. What do you think? Are you struggling with something in the moment? Share it with me. Share it in the comments. And I, I can ask about it, ask Jesus, and we'll see what comes up. In the meantime, like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one.